I want to speak about the presence of Jesus, as it is set before us in that blessed story of Christ's walking on the sea. 1. Think, first, of the presence of Christ lost. You know the disciples loved Christ, clung to Him, and with all their failings they delighted in Him. But what happened? The Master went up to the mountain to pray, and sent them across the sea all alone without Him. There came a storm, and they toiled, rowed, and labored. But the wind was against them. They made no progress. They were in danger of perishing. And how their hearts said, Oh, if the Master only were here! But His presence was gone. They missed Him. Once before they had been in a storm, and Christ had said, Peace, be still, and all was well. But here they are in darkness, danger, and terrible trouble, and no Christ to help them. Ah, isn't that the life of many a believer at times? I get into darkness, I have committed sin, the cloud is on me, I miss the face of Jesus. And for days and days I work, worry, and labor, but it is all in vain, for I miss the presence of Christ. O oh, beloved, let us write that down. The presence of Jesus lost is the cause of all our wretchedness and failure. 2. The presence of Jesus dreaded. They were longing for the presence of Christ, and Christ came after midnight. He came walking on the water amid the waves, but they didn't recognize Him, and they cried out for fear, It is a spirit! Their beloved Lord was coming nigh, and they knew Him not. They dreaded His approach. And ah, how often I have seen a believer dreading the approach of Christ, crying out for Him, longing for Him and yet dreading His coming. And why? Because Christ came in a fashion that they expected not. The presence of Christ dreaded, O oh, beloved, I want to tell you it is all a misconception. The disciples had no reason to dread that Spirit coming there, for it was Christ Himself. And when God's Word comes close to you and touches your heart, remember that is Christ out of whose mouth goes the two-edged sword. It is Christ in His love coming to cut away the sin that He may fill your heart with the blessing of God's love. Beware of dreading the presence of Christ. 3. There comes the third thought the presence of Christ revealed. Bless God! When Christ heard how they cried, He spoke the words of the text, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Ah, what gladness those words brought to those hearts. There is Jesus. That dark object appears, that dreaded form. It is our blessed Lord Himself. And dear friends, the Master's object, whether it be by affliction or otherwise, is to prepare for receiving the presence of Christ. And through it all, Jesus speaks, It is I, be not afraid. The presence of Christ revealed. I want to tell you that the Son of God, O believer, is longing to reveal Himself to you. Listen, listen, listen. Is there any longing heart? Jesus says, Be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. Amen.